Hello everyone, so for this video we're going to go back to uh, grayscale histograms um, and we are going to show going to show how to compute two uh, different types of uh, histograms first the normalized histogram and then the cumulative histogram so I've prepared again a, a notebook um, so here I'm just uh, as usual uh, reading our working.jpg uh, image and this is the code that we uh, used in the uh, in the histogram lab in the histogram video to uh, to compute uh, the the grayscale um, histogram. So simply computing for each value, each possible value uh, that the pixel can take, uh, the number of pixel from the image that has that value. Okay, so I'm uh, computing it and plotting it uh, here. No, the normalized histogram is simply uh, this um, this exact same uh, histogram, but normalized to the number of pixels, so that the uh, total uh, sum of the different uh, bins here is equal to uh, one. Um, so this means that we are basically uh, representing this histogram not as a uh, as an absolute uh, number of pixels that have this particular value, but as the percentage of pixel in the image that has this particular value. So um, how do we do that? The most, um, the easiest way to, to, to do it is to use NumPy. So as we've seen in the previous video, NumPy allows for uh, very um, easy um, numerical computations. And uh, with NumPy, I can first simply convert my uh, Python array here into a NumPy array. And if I want to uh, normalize the histogram, I have to basically divide uh, every number in that array by the uh, sum of all the values in the array, which would be the total number of pixels. And uh, I can do that very easily by doing h divided by the sum. So sum is a method provided by NumPy to compute the sum of uh, all the values of an array. And if I divide, um, h by h by sum, this will be, uh, the operation will be done on every element of h, and so I will have, end up I will end up with uh, the normalized histogram. So I can uh, quickly have a look at the results, taking this and plotting norm h. Uh, this will work better. Um, and as you can see, this has the exact same shape as before, but instead of uh, having the total number of pixels here, I have a uh, percentage of pixels that have this particular uh, value. Um, so this is uh, just, for, of course, more easy to, um, to compare uh, these histograms between uh, different, different images um, together. Um, the next one is the cumulative histogram. So with the cumulative histogram, the idea is instead of representing uh, the number of pixels that have this particular value, what we want to, to show is the number of pixels that, uh, have, um, that, that, that have value that is lower than or equal to, to this particular value. So basically we are just adding uh, the, the number here to the previous number, etc., etc., to get from the uh, here 0 0.02, we should have something that rise up to uh, one at the at the end. So the way to interpret a, f a cumulative histogram is the value at 50 uh, will be the percentage of pixels that are uh, that have a value of 50 or lower. So how do we um, how do we quickly uh, get that? Well, um, first thing that we can do is um, initialize an empty uh, array, so uh, an empty array with uh, the values zero everywhere. And then we can simply go through all of the, um, all of the, all of the values and the value of the cumul cumulative histogram at index i will be equal to the value of the normalized histogram at pixel i plus the value of the cumulative histogram at index i minus one. Okay, so each time we will um, we'll 
cumulatively add the different values of the normalized histogram. So if I try to plot this, uh, in range, sorry, I can see that I have um, something that has a, a, a different shape. So I know I start from the value that was uh, the same value here as the uh, as the. Um, normalized histogram, but now I will uh, keep uh, rising until I get to a uh, value of 1. So 100% of uh, the pixels of the image have a value of 255 or lower. So this is um, uh, um, this allows us to, to fairly easily um, make um, computations based on the percentiles, for instance, the image. So it's easy f with this to, uh, to find out quickly um, what is the value uh, that I have to, um, to use if I want to get uh, five the 5% brightest um, or the 5% uh, darkest uh, pixels of the, of the image, for instance. And we'll also see uh, in the lookup tables uh, later how we can use this for um, histogram equalization. Um, something that um, you might wonder is uh, why do I uh, why can I start here from uh, index um, zero uh, and add it here? It will be uh, so. So when i is equal to zero, here I will be um, doing cumul uh, h of minus one. Well, uh, with the numpy array, you can um, you can index them. Uh, with negative values, and it will then uh, start from the uh, last, uh, so from, from, from the end of the array. So um, an array of index minus one will be the last element of the array. Since I initialized it here with zero uh, in the first uh, iteration here, it will just uh, do uh, the, the normalized histogram at index zero, so the first value here, plus the last value of the uh, cumulative histogram, which will be uh, zero at that point. So that's why it, uh, it works. So that's also something uh, fairly useful uh, to, to know that you can uh, index, uh, you can quickly get the last value of an array uh, in this way. Uh, that's it for this video, and I will see you in the next one.